Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of our Ventura. I'm Anna Gabrielle, your host, and today we have a wonderful show. It's uh, dealing with a subject called Peace Through Music. And I will introduce the guests now, and we will get right to it. There's so much information. Welcome today. We have Drew Lane, Drew Wright Music, Tony Barnes, Peace Through Music. You guys are partners. That's right. Okay, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. It's such a privilege being here with you. Yeah, thank you for having us, and welcome Ventura, Ventura yes. County. That's right. Awesome. It is, and there's so many things that do happen in Ventura that a lot of people don't even know about. Uh, I have to bring this up, Tony, without embarrassing you, but I know that you came up with this concept when you were a little kid. I drew it when I was seven in a little town called Ojai, California. <laughs> uh, my dad lived in Ojai, uh, pardon me, my, my mother lived in Ojai and my father lived in Ventura. And um, my sister uh, was kind of a hippie, had the peace signs everywhere. I was sitting at a piano one day and saw the thing that looked like a six. I found out it was called the G clef or the treble clef. You're going to be in trouble if you don't remember treble. <laughs> And uh, so I drew this thing, and um, years later, I ended up, um, it ended up as a song called Peace Through Music, but the logo, I didn't even really knew it, know, pardon me, at the time that it was going to be called Peace Through Music. I just mm -hmm. put two things together. Well, I'm going to hold it up so, right now. Look at that. This is a fabulous <laughs> looks great. logo. And we are at peacethroughmusic.org, if you'd like to see our peace, uh, peace our website. I think that's great. And it's so cool that you invented this when you were just a little kid. <laughs> well, like I said, I didn't invent the peace sign and I didn't invent the G-clef. I just put two the things concept, together. The right? Yes. And frisbees? <laughs> That's, That's right. our chipper bro, Whammo <laughs> Frisbee. He does the Aloha Beach Festival and we help with the stage. And it's all about community and family and, and planting good seeds in our kids and Aww. our communities. So. Well, let's get to you, Drew. Uh, tell us a little bit about your background. Well, started out, I was born in San Diego. My dad was in the Navy. And he really encouraged me to do music, but not forcing me to do it. And so he let it be my own choice. And he always supported me. And for th that reason, I was able to blossom out and to be a part of some great projects like High School Musical, Hannah Montana, a lot of the Disney projects. Now we're working on big feature films and developing artists and get them signed to major record label deals. Well, I think that's great. With all the uh, cuts in the school systems, now these kinds of things are really going to take off because they cut all the funding for the arts and music in the schools. That's where you guys come in. And you have this nonprofit organization. And uh, the mission statement would be to help bring music to the kids. That's right. Music appreciation, uh, musical instruments, lessons, things that will follow uh, the whole gamut of music. Um, if you want to call it music therapy, and not That's only just I call for it. kids, <laughs> right? But we're, we're we're covering all ages as well. We've been into uh, we worked at Casablanca in Ohio and did some music therapy with with uh, senior citizens, especially Alzheimer care. I find with with disabilities uh, as Alzheimer's and, and um, you know Asperger's and, and autism, mm -hmm. music is such a common key where you, they don't. Well, some people don't even remember their names, but they can sing "Mary Had a Little Lamb." Yes, mm -hmm. and it's it's you know my I'm a sociology major, and I always did the, you know studied why does music do this to the brain and people and bring mm -hmm. people together, hence peace through music. Well, what happens too is that when you look at what happened in school when I was in school, that we had music programs, we had band programs, we had less gang violence, we had mm -hmm. less fights, we had less drug abuse, we had less suicides and everything but what happened when you took away the music from school you took away the heartbeat and the soul of what kept people all together because music unites and it brings people together so that's what we're doing it really does it's so funny because I, I told Tony when I first moved to this town I saw the logo and I thought I've got to track this person down that's my philosophy in life <laughs> that's right he's it's, great you know yeah sure enough here we are <laughs> well, there's no I in Tony you know um, this is a team and it's been a team of people helping me and bring it to a certain level and at one at one point we were at the Boys and Girls Club and we built a great program out in Oxnard and the Academy Country Music Lifting Lives through Mark Hartley and Fitzgerald Hartley Me, Me Management and uh, Nick Hartley brought us this money where we could give instruments to the kids, they had a place to go. Because from th around th 3 to 7, that's when a lot of kids are out getting into trouble. Mm -hmm. And they need that place after school. A lot of parents are working. So we want to be able to get after school programs going, sites where kids have a place to go. Or even music mentors, if you're in a high school band and you love music, Go and teach the younger kids because what you teach reaffirms what you know and you're mm -hmm. giving back to your community and, and you're, what we're doing is a, a book out called Playing It Forward we're working on. 
Oh, that's the one with Denzel. Denzel Washington wrote a book called A Hand to Guide Me. Right. And I got this idea to uh, bring in all these artists and to tell the story. I'm, I'm an adopted child. Uh, in 63, my father was in a group called the Pendletons. Uh, Gary Usher and Mike Borchetta wrote his music. It was produced by Tom Ayers. They were on ABC Dot Records. Weren't they tied it was with part, the Beach Boys? Yes. <laughs> Brian Wilson, I mean, Dennis never... Wilson are, are on his tracks. I'm not <laughs> sure. Uh, they mentioned Glenn Campbell, Leon Russell, and all the Gary Usher. That was his wrecking crew. And I'm, I'm friends with all the kids of these guys that my dad hung out with in the, in the 60s. And um, that inspired me 19 years ago to, to do this as well. And, and, and I'm a songwriter. And um, to be able to bring people together and tell this story in a very positive way. Because it could have a dark side or a negative side right. to it. Right. It really could. But I wanted to take it into a positive direction, keep it positive, and then build this almost like Willy Wonka. When Charlie comes back and puts the everlasting gobstopper back, and he said he needed somebody to trust, I wanted this to be perpetual moving forward and building this to outlive me and to, to take it for kids and to keep it young and perpetually moving. And um, uh, well, this, check this well, out I'm going to check this out right here. <laughs> well, also, this Annie, too, we wanted to make sure that we didn't come across too preachy, too. Oh, no. Because if we come across too preachy, then it detracts. So well, we speak through them through music. Right. You know? And then the anti-bullying. That's a yeah. huge, huge subject right now in our country. Yeah, right. I'll chime and in real quick. The only thing that, that stopped me from doing the things that I did was a teacher by the name of Paul Jablonowski at Loma Vista. And um, I had issues as a child, and he stopped me, brought in sports and music. And the story is more about people like him. Stopping well, to give attention. I just wanted this, like is, this. this is your character called Pickman, yeah. and it's so, it's so cute. It says "Pick on strings, not living things." Mm -hmm. And once again, you were a kid when you invented this concept. Mm -hmm. Question: sure. How did you two get together and partner up? Well, we have a great mutual friend, Lee Marsh. I worked with a Travis and Amanda, and she said, "I know this guy that has this amazing concept." You know, and what's interesting about it when he told me about it, I was like, "Wow." this is really great because you know first of all the word peace is really universal yeah it just really tied everything together and then through music you know because I was born into music you know just like Tony himself so we sat down we had a cheese pizza out there and, uh, and Camarillo <laughs> out there. A couple of sodas. A couple of sodas yeah exactly and, and the rest was history we, we worked together on this thing and it, we're just steadily building up a great team so that we could unite everybody through music. The only reason I brought this guy great on, story. and when I'm saying I brought, but the, the, re the reason why I wanted to redo this again and, and take it to another level, and Drew's great, the resume is amazing, works with kids, all these things, but what really got me, I asked him what inspired him, it was his dad. And I'm a family man. And, Tell um, us about your dad. Well, he's great. First of all, you know, he, he's somebody that really inspired me because he played music too mm -hmm. and he would always give me the opportunity and he would support you know he That's wasn't great. one of these dads that would say you gotta go in there and practice and do this you know I would do it on my own and he would just support me to do it until this day I think know. that's wonderful. He like some people they force them to be lawyers or doctors. No, he wow. supported you. He was never was a dadinger or <laughs> anything like that you know because you know you can't and this is a good lesson to all parents out there because I love we like to counsel parents too because it's yes. just as important to have parents ready too in the business because they could blow careers for the kids too. Mm -hmm. So we like to counsel them, let them know that, you know, support your kids, but don't live your lives for your kids. Right. Balance. You know, yes. It's a total balance, mm -hmm. and, you know, and let them, let them enjoy it. Yes. Because, you know, you're only young once, you know, and you, it's like trying to, you know, carry a 150 or 120 pound person on your back when you're only 80 or 90 pounds. You can't do that. Yeah. So we have to really support them mentally, spiritually, and financially. Well, that's great. And now, do you actually line things up at schools? And tell us a little bit about we'll do your all program. That. Uh, and I'll, I'll let Tony start off, and then I'll yes, uh, there, we do so. peace through music live, and we go out and, and and we bring a djembe drum, and we tell the kids if you're having a bad day, we give it to the school, and they get to go in and hit on the drum. That is so cool. And uh, you can take that energy and and put it in the drum and have some dialogue. Um, and we go out and we sing these positive songs. We have a song called Be Great. And uh, we do, um, we bring in guest artists. We had Lois Mahaley, all these wonderful people, Nathan McEwen, just wonderful. Uh, I can name names, you know, um, Jonathan McEwen. They come into our schools. Uh, we're going to have Jay Rose coming out soon, um, uh, Casey Hensley, just 
wonderful, beautiful people and teachers getting involved, bringing kids on stage to play. Mm -hmm. My sons have, have played many shows, Elias and Thatcher, as they were growing up, and, and now they're doing their thing too, but also supporting peace through music. But as a balance, I didn't want to bring them in and say this is all it is. Mm. You know, yeah. education sons first, you know. Right. Uh, family, not you know, family education, then the music, sports. This balance that I think that is so important for kids. Yeah, that's true. Let me let me just interject. You got it. And what's really great about that is when when kids see other kids perform. Now these artists now have fans, mm. but we also let people let them know that look, not only do you have a fan, be a friend to the fan. Yes. Because if you're a friend to the fan, then you have somebody forever. Yes, and I tell that's the a kids, nice concept. It's beautiful, and I tell the children also that stars are in the sky, and, and these are people. So I love bringing famous people or stars and showing them how mm -hmm. real they are, where they can talk to them, and maybe they have a question. And, that, that, you know, and, and also that the Mona Lisa has already been painted. Don't try to be like that star. Create your own music. Yeah. Okay. It helps the kids with the creativity oh, as well absolutely. and the self-esteem, we'll which see. keeps them from bullying people right. and which keeps them from being bullied upon. But we well, also don't want to label a bully. We want to give them a chance to change as well. If we give somebody a positive or a mm -hmm. negative label, you know, then even that positive label makes them perfect. I can see this yeah. as a movie one yeah. day. <laughs> well, you know what's great? Like, like Tony Wayne's Elite Lutz, you look at... Uh, Richard Dreyfuss was a, a great teacher at Mr. Holland's Open. That's right. You know, and, and there's something about whenever you play a live instrument, whenever you strum mm -hmm. a guitar, it's a, a part of you and that instrument become, become one. Right. It's a communication and you have a way of channeling your energy. And I so think it's great. If we, if we work hard on bringing music back in schools, it's important. Then we could save a society and save a generation and bring it back. He mentioned Nine. the heartbeat. There's only two beats. The heart, boom, boom. My friend Kofi told me that. And if we can give the heartbeat, that's why we bring the instruments to the kids. We can inspire them. They can be appreciative of the music that we're bringing them. Also, we're trying to have good music out there. Yeah. Positive messages. And I'm not putting down the arts. People have to express themselves. What were you going to say, Annie, about mm -hmm. that? Um, yeah, what I was going to say is, I have a feeling you guys are going to be huge, but I also know you're going to keep it central right here in Ventura. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know? mm -hmm. so Look, I got my surfboard on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the, the seed is here. It was planted here. We would love to see it grow. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, this thing was developed to, to, that I don't want to control it. It's, no. it's beyond my control. And, and it, be, it belongs to everyone who wants to embrace it. Just like a child. Mm -hmm. The strongest child in the village in Africa is raised by the village. That's what I want Peace Through Music Absolutely. to be. Absolutely. And that's what we love about shows like this. You're able to help us amplify what we're working on. And, you know, a lot of things can, can germinate from it. And Absolutely. we're able to grow and people can see the seeds just, you know. And you have uh, some platinum records and gold records under your belt as well. So when you see talent, you know what to do. That's right. Uh, you always think you ahead. You guys are going to be a... <laughs> I, I'm privileged to do this because I know you're yeah. going to be big one day. I, I just want to thank the, the community of Ventura, too. They've been so supportive. Um, the festivals we do, but also Guitar Center and Oxnard and DJ PJ out there and all the, their crew. They've been so amazing to help us, and, and they give us instruments so we can sign things and raise monies to play it That's forward. Wonderful. It's just so amazing how everybody's chiming in, and the DW Drum Company, and all these wonderful people that are playing it forward for us. And uh, Trey Bellows at Junior Y Music Group, and all the people that are helping us. It's just, you know, our board members from the past, everyone has been a, a key into well, this, and a big learning lesson as well. <laughs> thank you. Before we run out of time, I want to give you guys a chance to uh, give the viewers, uh, how do they get a hold of you, your contact info, right, the me. website? Well, it's peacethroughmusic.org, and through is T-H-R-U, very important, mm -hmm. uh, and that's about it. We have a new web page that's being developed, mm -hmm. and uh, this thing's going to take off like wildfire, and what I love to tell everyone, it's a musical term, is stay tuned. Well, let's stay tuned, That's right. ladies and gentlemen, to the next edition of Our Ventura. I'm your host, Danny Gabrielle, and wishing you a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and a wonderful month. Peace. Mm -hmm.